Hello again. So I'm now going to show you how to bring those images of Cole's um, character. I'm going to show you how to bring those into Maya and place them on image planes so that you can use them as references to build your models. This is something that um, you may or may not do in the future, but I, it's good to know how to do it. So um, I have opened my LT. I created a pro uh, project yesterday. I placed those two images in the source images folder, those two PNG files. And so I'm just going to do a couple things first. First thing I'm going to do is um, set my project so that this empty blank scene knows where, what project to pull things from and what projects to store things in. So you can see here that I'm uh, going to projects and here's the robot project that I created yesterday and here are all of the folders that were created for me when I did that. So now I have set my project to that and now just for the heck of it I'm going to go to save scene as and I'm going to make sure that my scene is saved in the correct project and make sure everything is working the way it's supposed to. Looks good. I'm just iterating this Robo, Robo Cole 2. It's a really good idea to save multiple versions of Maya files. Don't write over the same file and just keep hitting save over and over again. Always use save as. Um, there's also in Maya at this point there is this increment and save and what that does is it just puts adds a number to the scene name so that um, uh, you will save multiple versions of the scene, which is a really good idea because sometimes you'll have to go back to a scene where certain things were working that you can't, for whatever reason, get to work again. So that's a really good idea, increment and save. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have no geometry in here yet. Um, under the, let's see, I'm going to switch to four views by hitting the space bar. And then I'm going to switch to a front view, front view pane, by clicking in the front view and then hitting the space bar again. And you can see down at the bottom of your view pane the uh, name of the view that we're currently in. In the view pane, pull down menu, I'm going to go up to view image plane. And I'm going to select import image. So you can see that right there. And that brings me miraculously, because I've set my scene up correctly, it brings me directly to my source images folder. And so I'm going to select, I don't know which one I did, I'm going to go with this one, I think. Yes, yesterday. Okay. So I'm going to select that image and click open. And it's going to place the image into the scene. And if we look at the perspective view, you can see that the image is placed in the scene and the pixels that I uh, deleted in the background of the image are gone. So as I said, the image is just kind of floating there in space for us. Also, if you look over here in your outliner, and I suggest that you have this open all the time, there is the image plane right there. Okay, I can actually even double click on that and call it image plane dash front. Okay. okay, now I'm going to go back to four views, click over here, get a side view, and then go and do the same process again. Image plane, import image, and get the side view. Open that up, switch back to the perspective view, and you can see here now we have both images kind of crossing each other so you could use them to model from. Um, your best bet when using this for modeling, there are a couple of things we can do to make this a little bit easier. Um, as you can see, the images don't exactly line up, so we're going to have to do a little bit of tweaking to these image planes. Um, it's also a lot easier if you do your modeling from these front views and side views, not not initially at least from the perspective view. These views are called orthographic views because there's no perspective distortion going on. In other words, things that are far away don't appear smaller in these views. Only in the perspective view does that occur. So they're called orthographic views. They're, 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 they have no depth. 
Okay, so it would be easiest to do your modeling from front view and side view because from the front view I can't see the side view, it's not in my way, so it would be a little cumbersome to try to model in here. Okay. Um, so let me see about trying to get these to line up a little bit better. So I'm going to select the side view here. Quickly I'll rename that. Okay. And uh, I'm going to hit W for the Move tool. And I'm going to just move this in one direction so that I can try to get it to line up a little bit better. And then I'll move it down a little bit. And you can see that this uh, view is a little more squashed than this view. I mean, I don't, it would kind of depend on which one you wanted to use. I could select this one and uh, grab the scale tool and just uh, scale this view up a little bit and then move it back down and try to get you know a better fit. That's pretty close there. Okay. So now I have them fairly well lined up. Okay. Um, another thing that I might do here is go to the Attribute Editor. So I'm over here on these tabs on the side. Also Command-A. And if I change the Alpha Gain on these planes, you can see they become transparent, which might not be a bad idea also just to give me, so I can kind of see what I'm building through them, okay? Um, I think another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these planes in the outliner. I just did that by holding down the shift key. And I'm going to use command G, which is going to make a group route out of them. And I'm just going to call it reference images. And uh, then while I'm in this view, since these are, are automatically located at the, the center of the world here, what's known as the world origin, sounds very um, cosmic and philosophical. Uh, but anyway, they're, they're at the world origin. I'm just going to go to a side view here. The front view is fine. And I'm going to just move the group up so that the feet of the... Uh, robot are sitting on this ground plane. I'll go back to the perspective view real quickly and you can see that its feet are now sitting on the ground plane there. Okay? Okay, more or less. Okay, so that is a good way to set this up to begin doing your, your modeling. Okay. I would then go up to File and I would do increment and save and save this version. And you can see the, the newly saved version showing down here um, is, has dot zero 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 one added to it. That is the increment. The next one will be ending in dot zero 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 two. Okay. All right. So check that out. That'll help you get set up and you can work on there.